Hello everyone, today we'll be talking about Rocket League's free-to-play situation. On September 2nd, around 12pm EDT, Psyonix made an announcement on their official Rocket League Discord server about things that are coming out to free-to-play and the situation on when it's going to release. There's a lot to talk about, so let's get right into it. At 1.02 p.m. in the official Rocket League Discord server and the announcements channel, a staff member from Psyonix posted, Hello everyone. In addition to tournaments, challenges, and cross-progression, there's still a lot coming to Rocket League when free-to-play launches. Here's everything else you can expect like new ranks, new quick chats, and more. And then a link to Rocket League's official website with a blog on all, this new, all the new things that are coming to Rocket League. So... The things that are coming to new Rocket League, we have new ranks, new quick chats, some new uh, rule sets as in like um, people who are just beginning. So we have some really cool new ranks. Um, instead of just Grand Champion being purple, we have red Grand Champion now, but it's Grand Champion 1, 2, and 3. And then after that, we have Supersonic Legend, which is like a, um, a more deeper, not deeper, but a more light purple. Um, versus the champion. The champion's like a dark purple, and this is more like a purplish pink. So, and after, so that rank I was talking about, that's after Grand Champion, that's like the purplish pink, is called Supersonic Legend. And on the screen now, you'll see all the competitive ranks and what they look like. Um, left, all the way left being bronze, the lowest, then silver, gold, platinum, diamond, champion, grand champion, then supersonic legend, at the very end. So, when people first play Rocket League, they have these new driver challenges to unlock all the items that were, that's like for the base version of Rocket League. Like how everyone, when they bought Rocket League, they got all those first items. Now there's going to be new driver challenges for people who get the game. They have to complete the challenges to get all the base items. In order for the new players to play ranked, they have to be at least level 10 to start playing ranked. PlayStation Plus and on PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch Online on the Nintendo Switch is no longer required for online play on on those platforms. Sadly, I'm pretty sure Xbox Live is still required, or not Xbox Live, but Xbox Live Gold is still required to play online Rocket League. Don't know why they didn't remove that, and they did it for the others, but I really don't know. So, with this update, instead of having the Rocket IDs, the Rocket ID menu will become the Epic Friends menu. So, like, in ep the Epic Games list you how you have your epic games friends on linking your epic games account you'll have the epic friends list instead there's going to be new quick chats including faking bumping on your left on your right and passing these will be really helpful because faking can be used in kickoffs or challenges to tell someone that they're faking and going for the pass bumping is good for like when you're gonna bump someone out of the goal so your teammate can make the goal on your left for like can be good for kickoffs or awareness of telling your teammate that you're there on your left and ready for a pass. Uh, what I mean by on your left or on your right in kickoffs is like when you're going for the kickoff and you tell you're telling your teammate that you're shooting it toward the left or shooting it toward the right, that'll be helpful for that too. Passing obviously for passing to your teammates that will always be really helpful. So. This is helpful now because voice chat will be disabled by default and L2 on the PS4 controllers, LT on Xbox controllers, and ZL on Switch will be defaulted to air roll, which is also a really good thing. I feel like that they should also make it so power slide defaults to that too because that's what most of the pros are using and it's also a lot better than having it on Square or X because Square for PS4 and X for Xbox. Um, Heat Seeker is now playable in private matches. That will be really helpful because me and my friends were really looking forward to playing Heat Seeker, but the sad thing is it's only on limited edition. So, like, when we want to play Heat Seeker, 
you can only do it on PC if you have Bacchus mod. So I can't play with my Xbox and uh, PS4 friends on my PC because they didn't have it in private match. So that's really helpful as well. There's going to be a new bot difficulty under Rookie. Well, a lot of people on the official Rocket League server were making jokes on it. Like, um, what is it going to be a no wheels rookie? Because the rookies are already easy enough to beat, or it's so stupid. So, like, is it going to be called no wheels rookie or crippled rookie? So, the Merc is getting a new unique hitbox for a total of six hitbox types, which is kind of strange because I'm pretty sure the Merc used to uh, use the Octane's hitbox, uh, which is very strange but yeah we'll see what hitbox it has once that this update releases um there's gonna be the rocket league and monster cat crossover remixes of fan favorite songs so they'll be adding legacy music throughout the years which will be really great uh wait Oh, it looks like that you can also download them on here as well. I'm not sure, but we'll see. Uh, solo standard playlist is also being removed from the following competitive season. Which is amazing because solo standard was very stupid. No one ever played it. And to those people who did play it, why? You can just play standard. Go play standard. It's pointless to play solo standard. So, now that's all that's being added. We already talked about um, the challenges, which I actually don't think we went over it. So we went over the tournaments and the cross-platform progression. So this update will be coming out like around a few weeks around mid-September. So in the next few weeks, which is going to be awesome. Which means summer hopefully won't be over yet when this comes out. Which that's mainly why I made yesterday's video. So now we're going to talk a little bit about challenges. So challenges, you'll get weekly challenges and then season challenges. And you can earn XP and also you can earn drops as well. And these drops can get you really rare items. And then of course you'll get the new driver challenges which gets you all the normal um, base Rocket League items, which this will be really helpful. It's all really go over to go over for challenges. Um, yeah. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions, just put the questions in the comments below, and I'll try to answer them to the best of my abilities. And yeah, that's it. So I will see you guys on Friday.